again. <laughs> FLX Beer Reviews. Just hanging out. Just, Just hanging out. We're, we're trying to film an episode of As the Beer Swirls. Ah, that we are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm Dan. I'm Mike, Dan. Uh, Mike, what are we drinking? Uh, let me tell you, Dan. All right. Uh, I picked this beer up in North Carolina at the Buffalo City Jug Shop, Outer Banks, Killer Bottle Shop. Uh, I bought this specifically because of this label. Um, it's killer. It's from Burial. Uh, it is their Seekers Aren't We All IPA. Uh, it is a 7.2 ABV. It's got a canned on date that is half smudged, and apparently all I can see is 2021. Well, I can read that. Use your eagle eyes, DK. That is July 2nd? Okay, 2020. Great, you completely made that up. There is a diatribe on the back of this, and I'm going to regale you with the short little tale. Uh, it says, Burial, the evolution of truth, the journey, introspection, lifetimes of searching to find a voice. The findings of our leader, Jessica Raja, oh, well, it's a cult beer. She took over this beard at a woman's touch. Yeah, it's a woman's cult. And this time we brought it up a notch with the fine creativity of Diane Gooding. There are a lot of women in this cult who brought us Idaho Gem. Triple saturated in the Whirlpool, magic Whirlpool, with incognito and cryo. Double dry hopped with hand selected mosaic and Idaho Gem and dusted. So mosaic cryo. Mm. I don't, hear, I don't care how cultish that label is. I'm excited to drink I this I enjoy a good women's cult. Sure, who doesn't? I mean, they're usually about like, hey, learn how to cook, learn how to do laundry. Have you ever had anything from Burial before? <sighs> In no way do my views <laughs> reflect that of Mike's. Just put that out there. I'm fairly certain my views don't reflect that of Mike's. So, and no way does um, FLX beer views <laughs> reflect Mike's. <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, <laughs> culture canceled. Um, no, I, uh, dude, I am. When you said you got a beer from Burial, I was pretty excited. Yeah, I, I've heard of Burial, uh, mainly for the fact of um, Other Half. So they've done some collabs oh, okay. with Burial. Okay. Burial's been on tap at our local Other Half location, so that's kind of why I hear about some of these breweries that I do. Okay. Um, right. Also, fun fact: I'm not sure if we'll review it. I might just take it to the dome to myself, but Sean from Nerd Sense, and uh, definitely not Mike, but only Sean at Nerd Sense, gifted me a burial beer collab with other half, but brewed by Burial. Really? Beer Tuber Blueza. Okay. So I have it at home, and I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. I might just drink it. This is a muddy water. I remember him specifically saying, like, this is, like, totally just for Dan and not Mike kind of situation. He's very anti-Mike. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. You wouldn't know. You I, don't know what it's like to deal with mics. I can only imagine it's yeah. just a, a joy. Uh, a 7.2 ABV. So this is our first burial beer. It is a muddy kind of... I'm not going to lie. It looks a little oxidized. Yeah, is that what it is? Like, like I feel like this was a bright and then it got a little oxidized. I totally could be wrong. Okay. We'll, we'll find out. I hope we're wrong. Um, the head, less than a half a finger's ahead. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very compact, tight, knit, creamy kind of head. Indeed. Right. Um, you get a whiff? Yeah. All right. Ah. What's going on? I don't know what's going on with this beer. Maybe it is oxidized. No, it, I mean, I smell things. I, there's... Things happening, but they're below a layer. Of I, I smell else. like an earthy, the earthy citrus aspect to it. Okay. And yet again, you know, dude, we're doing IPAs. We're reviewing IPAs. We're gonna say citrus. We're gonna say tropical. Yeah. Those are the notes you generally get. Right. You know. Right. right? It, there's not a lot of them that stand out, but what you can tell quality. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like with Idaho Gem, you want to get some of that potato aspect out of it, <laughs> but I'm not getting not at all. That, so okay. Um, I think it's coming out more. Like I don't know no, if it's it just because it's opening it's up, opening it's aerating. Up. Um, so I think we're well, pineapple. Okay. There's a, it's a, a slight pineapple. creamy aspect to a creamy. I'm getting like a fruity loop aspect. Loop. Okay. Just a tad. Okay, it's opening up now, and the the aroma is definitely better than it looks. So it doesn't look. Pleasant. It doesn't look appetizing. It doesn't. Um, let's, let's find out if that's not true. So cheers, buddy. Mm. 
There's that fruity. Fruit Loops. Remember because your Fruit Loops? Whoa. Yeah. That's fruity. There's a bitter Fruit Loop aspect to that it. That is Fruity Pebbles. Um, dare I say berries. That's that mosaic berry. Easy, Pebble. Easy. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, there don't, is, don't shun me. Oh, my gosh. There, it really is. It's, it's slowly opening up to uh, a Fruity Berry cereally. Aspect. Like you said, the fruity pebbles. Yeah, man, the, you're getting pineapple. You're getting fruits. You're getting fruity loops. You're getting yeah. all sorts of the tropical things going on with a nice earthy bitterness. Yeah. That I associate with the mosaic and maybe, you know, some of the Idaho gem. But I really, I was worried about this beer based on how it looks. Yeah, based on the color, it, it does not look it, good. It tastes it's, wonderful. It's far from out. Slight, elements. slight. Hint of booze. Hint. Okay. Um, I think maybe as a, I might get a little more booze as it warms up. It's very good. Um, like I read on the diatribe, uh, a lot of women had their hands in this, uh, bringing us the Idaho gem and everything. In honor um, of the creativity of Diane Gooding. Yeah. We uh, may as well have we're, we're a, a woman try this. this so yes. Uh, let my uh, wife try me, this. Me, Amanda, is in Hi. the background. I'm uh, a woman. She definitely is. I it's true. I swear. Like, <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Like this beer hasn't disappointed so far. So mm. it's right. slow to. It, it's a slow burn beer. It's good. It has like a, a like an umami little quality to okay. it that gives it um, mm. just a a little bit that kind of balances out any of the citrus or anything that's going on. See, I don't watch anime, um, so I don't know what that means. But <laughs> umami, that's kind of, you know, savory. Yeah, it's and it's 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 clean. I mean, I feel like if this warmed up, it is probably clean, wouldn't yeah. be um, the quality that it is. That's a good clean. point. But it's like a, it's uh, like a dank fruity loop kind of kind of vibe to it. Yeah, you know, I was drinking a pineapple beer, a pineapple IPA before this, mm-hmm. so I feel like, you know, maybe I'm not getting the fruity quality that you guys might be getting. Um, it, it's definitely more savory, um, but it's really good. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's really good. I, I hope you really liked it, but it, you took one sip and now you're initiated in the cult. Yeah. Or, I mean, like, in fine print, in fine print, it says any woman who drinks this is now in the cult. So there you go. That's cool. Like your pay, the dues are going to come out of your days. paycheck because she's, well, she makes her own money. She doesn't need mine. I'm not paying her dues. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. Why, um, why would I? So yeah, this was this was a, a pleasant surprise beer. As far after and I enjoyed my last beer with you before you get murdered in the name of Roanoke and the cult of burial. I'm not going to North Carolina anytime soon. Okay, they're not going to find me here. Yeah. Um, so Dan, what uh, if you had to assign a number to this beer? What'd you give it? Four point one. Around four, four point one. It's like a good beer. I mm-hmm. I would buy it if I saw it in shelves. Yes. I don't think it's. I think I might want to explore further into the burial catalog. Absolutely. Yes. Um, um like, I was going to give it along the, the exact same lines, yeah. like a four one. Uh, I. I it, like what it's it is. better than your average beer, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's this particular one is not like, setting itself apart. Is exceptional enough to say, "Holy crap." This is why I recommend this brewery to everyone. Okay. Kind of. Odd. Yeah, I can give you that. Um, I'm definitely glad we tried it. It was fun. Uh, well done with the label. Uh, maybe make it look a little more pleasing. You can do that. Yeah, th- <clears throat> honestly, that might be displeasing. That might be. Yeah. That's just. Uh, I don't know what kind of situation you had bringing the beer home, whether it was ice cold or not. It was only the best of situations. Sure it was. Uh, if you want to talk about how Mike duped uh, the beer situation and made everything oxidized, hit us up down in the description below. We have the links to our Instagram, Twitters, Untapped, uh, to the rest of the four pack. Tyler over at South Ten Beer Reviews, Ridge over at Red Joplin's get a nose on her beer reviews. Uh, we don't have the links down below, but check out the you know massive beer reviews, Nerd Sense. No hype. No hype. Lumber. Ninety three lumber. Yeah. Beer patrol. He'll be making a comeback sh- very shortly. Indeed. Very much anticipated. 
Uh, if you're uh, down in North Carolina, Outer Banks, check out the Buffalo City Jug Shop. Basically, what we're trying to say is we're kind of gang affiliated, and if you don't watch us, you'll pay for it. Uh, Rock pile, son. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers, Cheers. guys.